latest happened early this morning in the Clifton neighborhood. WLKY Steve Bergen is here to tell us what happened. Steve? Thank you, Rick. Detectives were called to the 300 block of South Ewing Avenue around 5.30, and they remained on the scene there for nine hours collecting evidence. Well, the 5th Division units responded to a shooting early this morning. Uh, when they got on the scene, they found one male deceased inside the house. A usually quiet neighborhood was lit up by the flashing lights of patrol cars. This portion of Ewing Avenue, which runs off Frankfurt Avenue, was blocked to traffic. Police vehicles found negotiating the snow covered pavement difficult. One person wearing a hooded jacket was placed in the back of a patrol car and taken away. By daybreak, the scene became clear. This two story yellow home is where the shooting occurred. It appears to be a fourplex. Police told us the victim is a man in his 20s or 30s. Bill Purcell says it's a friendly neighborhood made up of people with varying occupations. A good shocker to me because, you know, I know some of the people and they're, you know, super nice people. As a manner of procedure, Metro Police obtained a search warrant for the building. Lieutenant Todd Kessinger says no one should read too much into that person placed in the police car. In this environment, as cold as it is this morning, we're not going to interview them on the street, so we'll uh, get in, take them in a car, take them back to the office, wherever, just to get an interview from them. But uh, I don't know what, what that person's involvement is at this point. Shortly after detectives were called to South Ewing, a department spokesman issued a statement that police have a person of interest, but at this point, no one has been charged. Steve Bergen, WLKY News.